In terms of players to look out for, then you mentioned they've got a good group of players, there, a good squad. Is there any individuals you say he's the key man, he's the danger man? Liverpool need to be aware of him. Well, they have a good keeper. Uh, he's very solid, uh, uh, so he is good. You know, then the captain Krejci is is a very good player. He is the soul and the and kind of the engine of the of the team. Really, really good, really, really good player. Uh, then they have Haraslin. He's from Slovakia. Uh, I think he's their best goal scorer so far this season. He scored over, I think, eleven goals. Uh, he just came back last last game from little injury, and uh, they have a player on loan from France. I think he's from Serbia, Bermanto, which which he's playing up front. He's very handy, good on the ball. So that's probably the players I would uh, say that. They are probably, you know, the, the best players in the team, but they generally play as a team. You know, that's their strength. It's not about individuals, but it's all about the team. So so I think, you know, that that's why they have the mentality they can compete against anybody because they play as a team. OK, interesting. Yeah, you mentioned earlier on that of the Anfield second leg, like that place has seen some special European nights down the years, as yeah. you're well aware. It's, it holds a power all of its own, I think it's fair to say. So, obviously, for the fans heading over there, for the, for the Sparta players heading over there, but just in terms of the tie, like, Liverpool have a huge advantage with that Anfield second leg, don't they? Like, we've seen Barcelona be overturned there and stuff like that. Like, that's a very big positive from Liverpool's point of view. Listen, Anfield in, in European nights is a different animal, you know, and, and, and they were the best teams in the world, you know, they thought they can get the results and, and they didn't. So it's it's obviously it's a massive advantage for Liverpool. They can play at Anfield in Europe against anybody, or you know, they can beat anybody on a day. Which I mean, if we go through the history, you know, I mean, we all know what what can happen at Anfield. So so I think you know, Sparta Prague has a better chance to get the result uh, this weekend at home. You know, I don't think they can do much when they go to Anfield uh, a week later because especially there is a lot of injuries. But you know, some of the guys are coming back. So you know some of them might play part in um, in in the game this weekend uh, this this Thursday uh, and you know by next week you know hopefully a few more players will be available for European club so the squad is going to be even stronger than now you know so it, I mean they really they they really don't know what they're facing at Anfield yet. <laughs> no, they're in for shock. They're absolutely in for shock. But a treat as well because it is a once in a lifetime experience for some players. Of course it yeah. is. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. And you were lucky enough to experience it on numerous occasions, of course. As were a couple of your compatriots. I've got to ask you, obviously yourself, uh, Vladimir meets uh, Milan Baros. Like this feels like a bit of a. Uh, a reunion somewhat of Czech Republic and Liverpool. That makes it a little bit special. And you yourself, you must have been delighted when the draw came out. We said about earlier on the fans and the players and what it meant to them. But when you've seen the club where you started your career and Liverpool drawn together, that must have been a special moment. Yeah, I also finished my career in Sparta Prague, you know, when I came back from uh, Aston Villa. So I still played two and a half, two, one and a half year before I retired for Sparta Prague. So yeah, it was my it was my childhood team. It's basically my childhood team against my my dream team, right? You know, it was my dream to play for Liverpool. So I'm kind of I can't lose. Basically, you know, whoever is going to go through, you know, I can't lose. But uh, I still think, and I know I still feel a little bit more obviously for Liverpool. I spent there uh, seven years. Uh, I played with unbelievable players. You know, uh, won trophies. I had an amazing time. So. I will be cheering for Liverpool, of course. Good man, that's what we like to hear. Um, just in terms of Prague as a city, then, I've got to ask you, a lot of Liverpool fans will be heading over there this week at some point. What can they expect? Have you got any recommendations for them? Oh, well, hopefully good weather, beautiful girls and cheap beer. You know, I don't think if they will be asking for anything else. <laughs> no, that ticks a lot of boxes. I reckon that ticks a hell of a lot of boxes. Um, just finally, then, before we sort of wrap up, like you obviously said they will be cheering on Liverpool. What is your prediction for this game? How do you see it going? This tie overall? I think, I mean, I'm terrible with predictions. You know, that's why I'm not betting. Otherwise, I, I would end up with nothing. So, uh uh, I don't really do that, but I think um, you know to to get the result at least in one game. I think Sparta Prague has a bigger chance uh, when they play at home this week. I don't think they can. They kind of. I don't think they will get anything at Anfield. So you know, I think you know Liverpool will cruise you know through to another uh, you know to another round in the European competition. So I think you know they're going to win. 
over here, but they're going to win back home, you know, with a little bit bigger margin. OK, interesting. That'll do for me. Um, perfect. Patrick, absolute pleasure speaking to me. Thank you so, so much for your time. Um, let people know what you're up to nowadays. What's going on? I mean, I'm I'm trying to enjoy the life, you know, so I'm um, I'm traveling the world, uh, obviously following Liverpool. Uh, I like to do my fishing, so I'm traveling around the world to do some some fishing, playing golf. You know, I'm, I'm trying to enjoy the life as much as I can. Good man. Well earned. Deserved it. Good man. Thank, um, you, yeah, thank yeah. you so much for your time once again. Everybody else, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Take it easy. Hey, thank you so much for checking out the content today. If you want to get your name in and amongst these wonderful people, uh, then head to redmenplus.com. Join as a legend tier subscriber. You're going to get free merchandise, merchandise codes. You're going to get in our Discord and you're going to get your name at the end of YouTube videos. Yes, redmenplus.com. Legend tier status.